Hi guys, you're welcome to the next module after the Content Provider Foundation. In this particular tutorial, we'll be talking about the bulk insert. What about we'll be uh, adding uh, some uh, code to the bulk insert, our method right in the weather provider Java class. Right there in the weather provider class, we have the bulk insert method where we have the, some uh, parameters, the URI, uh, the content values arrays, uh, which has its values are uh, objects. Uh, we have the final string, the SQLite database, uh, whereby we created an object for it called DB, where we add it to the M open helper, where we get the rewritable uh, database uh, class. We have the switch statement, uh, where we're going to uh, check for the match of each URI matcher passing the URI as its parameter. Our uh, only perform our implementation of bulk inserts if the URI matches the code weather code. So the case here is the code weather uh, where we're going to begin transaction. Uh, we have the role, rows inserted whereby we initialize it to zero and we're going to try and catch here yeah, uh, we're going to try firstly uh, an enhanced for loop where we have the value uh, based on the values, you know, the content values will be based on the values are uh, array. We have the long data type, which is the weather date, where we get as long, you know, based on the value of each one of it, the weather contract and uh, the column date. If not weather date utilities is date normalized based on the weather date, it's going to throw a new illegal argument exception, which is going to be a string that the date must be normalized to insert. We have the long ID where we insert the weather contract entry based on the table name and its value. Uh, we also have another if statement which is checking for the id if it's not equals to minus one you know just to know the rows inserted which is going to be iterated with one now you're going to set the transaction successful to the db after all this might have been done successfully i mean the try method finally you're going to end the transaction uh, based on the db create uh, object created we have an outer if statement that checks if the rows inserted is greater than zero. It's going to get the context based on the content resolver and notify the change URI. You're going to return the number of rows inserted from our implementation of bulk insert. Whereby you're going to return this. If the URI does not if the URI does match uh, the code weather, it's going to return the super implementation of bulk insert, which is default by default that if all these are cannot be found, there's going to be a default to actually return the super class of the bulk insert uh, implementation, which is the URI and the values. From this particular tutorial, uh, we'll be moving straight to the content provider delete. This is still based on the content provider in the weather application. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. 